Well, we love Bedford Square, and it's right slack bam in the heart of Bloomsbury. It's undeniable that that building needs work, it needs love and attention. Um, it, has, it has suffered over the years. And when you see the extension on the back of the British Museum, when you look through the windows of the Cameron Mackintosh's office or the new offices of Bloomsbury and see what people have done to the insides of those buildings, how wonderful it would be if Royal Holloway could have something done on the same scale which stood tall. Luckily for us, the building hasn't been structurally altered. It's had internal partitions put in, uh, it's had minor adaptations. So the restoration work is not going to be very structural, but it will make a huge difference. So the idea will be to try to restore it as much as possible to how it would have been, probably at the end of the 19th century. Number 11 Bedford Square originally had a garden that ran quite a long distance, and all the houses next to it, north of it, in Gower Street, also had gardens. They now form one beautiful garden, very leafy with great trees in it, to which we have access, but we also have a small area which is private to this particular house on its own, and we hope to be able to make that a really attractive space. I think it will be a real asset and something that's very attractive to have access to green space in the centre of Bloomsbury. Well, the idea is to have one room, one of the rooms facing onto the garden, which will be a combination of a kind of common room for the people who use the building, but also will be an alumni clubhouse for people who, both graduates of Bedford and of Royal Holloway, and of Royal Holloway and Bedford New College, who want a base in London and want somewhere where they can come and meet friends, so it will be a place that they can use and enjoy and reconvene and meet each other again and reconnect with each other and with the college. Why should people invest in this building? How do we want to live, I think, is the question to ask in response to that. Do we want to live in a world where we care about the life of the imagination, the life of the human spirit, the life of, that's allowed to people who come from backgrounds that might not ordinarily be allowed to think about this sort of thing. If there's a willingness to make that happen, which I understand that there is, that, that would be exciting.